So illegal mining, popularly known as Galamse, has been causing significant environmental damage across Ghana, leading to the pollution of our water bodies, as well as the destruction of forest reserves in the country. Now, in response to concerns raised by organized labor, President Takufuado has stepped up efforts to address this pressing issue. Now, here's what the government is intending to do to combat Galamse effectively. Well, firstly, the president has ordered the deployment of additional military personnel. Now, under Operation Halt, the government is intensifying its efforts to curbing illegal mining by sending in more troops and deploying naval boats on polluted river bodies. Now, you might be asking, these efforts aim to ensure that all mining activities, both legal and illegal, around water bodies comes to a complete halt. Secondly, the government has suspended enforcement of mining regulations in forest reserves. This means that mining operations in these protected areas will be temporarily halted, giving the environment some chance to recover. Now, to speed up the fight against illegal mining, the president has directed the establishment of a dedicated court. Four courts actually have been already set up to handle cases related to Galam Singh, with plans to increase this number in a collaborative effort with the Attorney General as well as the Chief Justice. Again, in a bold move, the government is also calling for a national pact on legal mining. They want all presidential candidates to sign a commitment to tackle Galam Singh as part of the election pledges. Now, these measures represent the government's determination to protect our natural resources and ensure a sustainable future for all of us. But the fight against illegal mining known as Galamse requires the efforts of every citizen. President Sakufado urges all Ghanaians to unite in this critical national effort. Together, we can combat Galamse to restore our environment.